Liam, uh, you've got your new blades, and I'd just like to know a little bit about how you're making some adjustments to the sockets and how you're working in with them just the first few days. At the moment, what we're doing is using the high-density plastic to be able to make sure that my stumps are fitting comfortably within the, within the sockets, make adjustments to the high-density plastic sockets before we make the carbon fibre ones. So at the moment, I'm just going through with the pen. Um, we'll be going onto the treadmill, and any pressure points that I feel, I'll be circling and... They'll adjust it from there. Fantastic. Now you've worked with UC Sport. You now the people there, Grant Robertson, they've helped you in terms of getting ready for these type of things? They just blew me away. Within a week I had a, a new training program for the gym. They kind of sorted everything out, what I was doing wrong, what I need to focus on to develop my, my hammies better. And they put me on a treadmill. We did some um, slow motion camera work with the biomechanics team there. And they kind of helped the team from the limb centre analyse where my limbs are hitting the ground, where the blades are hitting the ground, where the energy is going and that really helps make some adjustments. There is more blade on the surface when I come down on my right foot, so I think the blade on the left leg is on this way. What will you roughly be doing each week in terms of hours and basically building up your strength and speed work? Mondays I'm on track and in the gym. Um, I gradually build up my distances over the week and then also do hill sprints and resistance training, either towing a parachute or a weighted sled. So also in the gym, um, because I'm a double amputee, I don't have a lot of strength in, in my legs naturally, so my quads, my hammies and my glutes need to become um, a lot more powerful and stronger. Now your first event will be the Wellington Athletic Championships in March and you want to compete against able body runners just to see how you can compare with them. Yeah, because the quality of... Um, Paralympic sprinters is so high these days that it will virtually be on par with, with New Zealand sprinters. To put myself against um, tougher competition as possible, it's going to be more realistic to what Rio is going to be like in the future. Now you've got uh, your goals as the World Championships in 2015? Yeah, that's... And Rio 2016, so there's a lot yeah. to look forward to. Yeah, there is. I mean, part of it is enjoying the process of getting to those places, and it's quite a remarkable a journey. The process of just having an adventure and goals to work towards is, is such an exciting thing for me that it's, it's yeah, it's really good. The University of Canterbury, it's a good place for students to come and you think it's a pretty good, yeah, pretty good university? absolutely. I mean, this year has been, without a doubt, one of the most enjoyable years of my life. 